So you might be in a random situation where for some reason your iPhone is getting this error. For some reason it tells you that it cannot connect either to the App Store or to whatever service out there. Now this can happen for a couple of different reasons. The very first thing and the very first reason why something like this may end up happening is because your particular device for the most part may be experiencing some sort of internet connection problem. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to make your way over to your Wi-Fi connection settings just like so. You then want to go and go into cellular or Wi-Fi and just make sure you're connected to a good Wi-Fi connection or a good cellular connection. Those are basically the main things you can probably try doing. That is the very first thing I recommend doing is double checking your Wi-Fi or internet connection. Now, if you do that and that's still not working, the other thing I recommend doing for the most part is making sure none of the current Apple services are down. Now, you can easily tell this if you make your way over to your internet browser. If you go to a website either like downdetector.com or is it downrightnow.com or one of those types of websites, what it's going to do is it's going to show you exactly what's up and what's down. And if any of these things say like Apple services or Apple website or anything like that or iTunes, App Store, iMessage, FaceTime, if any of those services are here and they're like basically showing you something like that, that can basically indicate one of the problems you may run into, which is basically just going to be essentially like the you know, problem of the App Store services being down. So double check this website, see if anything's you know going wonky and if it is, then you may just have to wait until they fix it. Now if that doesn't seem to be the issue either, you may just want to go ahead and try either restarting your iPhone, so hold down the buttons to restart it, or make your way over to your general settings of your iPhone, click on software update up here, and literally just try seeing if there's an update available for your iPhone, which most of the time there is, and that really probably is all you're going to have to do here as well. So that pretty much covers it up here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, help me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.